Given the triangle, find the length of side x using the law of cosines. Let's begin by labeling the angles and sides of the triangle. We typically use capital A, B, and C for the angles, and lowercase a, b, and c for the sides. Let's label the known angle of 40 degrees angle A, and therefore the opposite side with the length of x units would be side A. If we call this angle B, the opposite side is side B with a length of 22 units. And if we call this angle C, then side C has a length of 29 units. Because we are looking for the length of side A, we will use the first equation for the law of cosines, where we have A squared on the left side of the equation and the known angle, angle A, on the right side. Notice for all the equations, whatever side we have on the left side of the equation, we have the opposite angle on the right. So for our setup, we will use the equation A squared equals b squared plus c squared minus two times b times c times cosine a. And now we substitute 22 for b, 29 for c, and 40 degrees for angle a. This gives us a squared equals 22 squared plus 29 squared minus two times 22 times 29 times cosine 40 degrees. And now let's begin simplifying the right side of the equation. 22 squared is equal to 484 plus 29 squared is equal to 841 minus two times 22 times 29 times cosine 40 degrees equals 1,276 cosine 40 degrees. And then 484 plus 841 equals 1,325, giving us a squared equals 1,325 minus 1,276 cosine 40 degrees. Notice to solve for a, we need to take the square root of both sides of the equation. So we do not want to get a decimal approximation for the right side, we'll take the square root, and then round again, because that will give us more of an error. So we'll leave the right side of the equation in this form, and to solve for a, we will take the square root of both sides. And because a is a length, we only take the principal square root, or positive square root, which gives us a is equal to this square root, which we will use the calculator to get a decimal approximation. And I believe our homework asked to round to four decimal places. So going to the calculator, the first step is to make sure the calculator is in degree mode. Notice how right here it does say degree, but just to check we can press mode, and notice in the fourth row degree is highlighted. If degree was not highlighted, we would arrow down to degree and press enter. To go back to the home screen, we press second mode for quit, and then we enter the right side of the equation. So we enter second x squared for the square root, and then we have 1,325 minus 1,276 cosine 40 degrees, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice in the fifth decimal place there's an eight, which means you round up. A is approximately 18.6421 units. But notice originally, the side was labeled with a length of x units, so now we know x is approximately 18.6421 units. I hope you found this helpful.